Greetings Channel 9, we are at TechFest 2012 and I am standing next to Neil and Michael from Microsoft Research Redmond and they're going to show off their project that they've been working on all year? Or more than a year? Oh, about, about a half a year. About a half a year. About a half a year and it's called Cliplets. So explain to me what Cliplets is. Uh, so Cliplets are a type of imagery that sit kind of between a still image and a video. And the idea is to be able to show sort of short narratives, or little moments in time, um, as uh, as something that's a little bit more uh, alive than a still, but not quite as cluttered and busy as a video clip. So would you compare it to clip art? Um, not exactly clip art, but... Animated yeah. clip art? Well, uh, that, like that might, yeah, like a GIF <laughs> might be a reasonable yeah. thing okay. to think of. But it's really something, you know, in my mind is a, a different kind of media. So it's like a photograph, but it has just that little edge of motion that brings it alive. Sounds awesome. Well, why don't you take us through it and show us what we're talking about? So here's, here's a couple um, initial results. So uh, if you look at this one here on the right, um, you'll see there's kind of a narrative here. So there's this animated loop of the candles flickering, and then the candles get blown out. And wow. then it has this kind of steady state that it sits with. And it just stays like that. And it just stays like that and plays forever. So it's kind of, you know, the still comes to life, and then it goes back to this kind of steady, you know, little it's amazing. movement. It's um, amazing. And then I'll actually show you how to make this other one right here. So this is a more simple loop. So this is our application. This is um, going to be available for public download, actually. And Excellent. it's on our project site, so you can just download it and try it out. And uh, to make one of these clipplets, you just drag a video in. It uh, aligns the video, removes any camera shake. So if your hand's moving when you film with the cell phone, that'll go. So, but the video shot, I'm assuming, would have to be a still shot on a tripod or something. No, I couldn't. No. I could take a moving frame. Yeah. So here, you can actually see that uh, the frame's wobbling, wobbling around a little bit, and that's the yeah. uh, because we've removed the camera motion. Okay. Um, so I can now just select this region that I want to loop. So let me select this fountain here. Um, and then what you do is you specify input to output mappings. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pull a little bit of this input video that I want to use. And then when I hit the button, it just creates the loop there for wow. you. That's amazing and simple. Yeah. That's and um, cool. if, you know, if you make a little mistake, or you want to change something, let's say, you know, you want to make it a little bit tighter down here, there's something moving, you can do that. So you can go back and edit the boundary and, and adjust it again. Great. Now, what was the inspiration for something like this? Are you a photographer, a videographer? Uh, yeah. The idea of being able to show motion. But I think, um, you know, a lot of times the video you take with your, your mobile phone is just really shaky. It's really cluttered. You don't really focus on, on one particular thing. It's very hard to focus on one particular thing. Right. Very cool. All right, well, let's bring in Michael. Hi, Michael. And then you're going to give us a couple more demos, correct? So let me bring in a different video. These are ones uh, that we shot on a recent trip um, in actually Florence, Italy. Okay. And this is my daughter here. And the nice thing is we can look for a nice still. And, oh, that's kind of a fun one there. Okay. So that's a nice still. And it's actually uh, not a bad photo, but we want to just bring it to life a little bit. And, again, what I can go do here is let's circle Pinocchio here. And now what we're going to do is look for some place where we can loop. So let's say his feet are there, and we'll go back and find another place where his feet are there. And again, we just hit the render, and in a couple seconds, we get something that looks like this. What? So it's kind of like a still. It's got that tension of her floating in the air, and uh, Pinocchio is doing his thing. But what's right. more and except for the, the person walking through the background there, you wouldn't even ever notice it was a loop, to tell you the truth. Exactly. So let me show you one other thing. The, both of those you've seen so far are loops. But let's add another layer. And in this case, we're going to do something called a play. And now let me grab that piece of the world where my daughter was. And now, in this case, we're going to go back and try to find a piece of the world that just kind of matches up. And then there's kind of a nice smile of her at the end. Okay. So now what's going to happen here is I'm going to take it, the output and place it somewhere down in this uh, output timeline. Let's say about there. And now let's try that. Let's see what's going to happen. So now we've got the background, remember? And she's here. And here we are at the beginning of the cliplet. Uh -huh. And then we hit this little piece. She comes down and lands. And then she freezes there. Freezes again. And the whole time, uh, Pinocchio is just doing his doing thing. It. What you'll be able to do is download it here uh, so you can try it out yourself, but you can also look at a gallery where we've made a, a number of these already. And, uh, for example, here's another one that's somewhat different than the ones you've seen before. Or a fairly classic sort of one is one like this, a little bit like the uh, fountain one, 
but it's the champagne glass that never fills. Very cool. And are these, do they have tutorials on each one, how they were done? Um, there's a number of tutorials. Again, there's a tutorial page you'll see here, and we've got five tutorials. One you just saw, how to make that. Also here we add another uh, piece with the bird, and the one you saw of my daughter here. And this is kind of a fun one that uh, juxtaposes different motions one after another. Mm -hmm. So the website for the project is research.microsoft.com slash cliplets. Very yeah. cool. This is awesome. I'm, I can't wait to start using it. It looks like the kind of thing that you, once you get your hands on and really play with, the more and more fun, creative uses mm -hmm. you can come up with. So, again, it's called Cliplets, and when is it available? It's available now. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.